Forced overtime, strenuous shifts during peak periods, few days off each month, wages lower than a living wage, and militant management. This is how computers and accessories at Microsoft's factory in China are manufactured. Under Chinese law, people between the ages of 16 and 18 are allowed to work, but there are restrictions on their workloads, and they should be registered with local authorities. Two Chinese factories that supply goods to Microsoft and other global companies have been cited by government officials for violating local labor laws, including failing to register more than 300 workers between the ages of 16 and 18. Dongwan officials said that about 326 workers, ages 16 to 18, were not registered with local authorities. They also said that previously, workers on production lines at the two companies worked, on average, about 280 hours each, far exceeding the 196-hour maximum allowed by law. An undercover investigation carried out by the National Labor Committee over a period of three years discovered that several factories there, including ones used by Microsoft to produce things like webcams and mice, were treating their workers like garbage. The workers said, We're like prisoners. It seems like we live only to work. KYE is one of Microsoft's factories that reportedly prefers to hire only women 18 to 25 years old, who are considered easier to discipline and control. Yet some of the workers appear to be just 14 or 15 years old. Workers say they struggle to put together mouse after mouse in overheated factories, where the temperature reaches 86 degrees during the summer. 14 workers share a dorm-like room with bunk beds. A shower consists of a bucket and sponge. The report alleges the workers are paid 65 cents an hour, which becomes 55 cents an hour after deductions for factory food. Female employees say that they're constantly sexually harassed by security guards and are forbidden to talk, listen to music, or go to the bathroom during official working hours. Very few of these young women continue on at KYE after six months due to harsh conditions in 15-hour days. Here is the workers' verdict. I know that I can choose not to work overtime, but if I don't work overtime, then I'm stuck with only 770 RMB. $121 per month in base wages. This is not nearly enough to support a family. My parents are farmers without jobs. They also do not have pensions. I also need to worry about getting married, which requires a lot of money. Therefore, I still push myself to continue working in spite of my exhaustion. KYE management claims factory conditions are excellent and that they're in full compliance with China's labor laws. But the young woman described the factory as a prison, where everyone who can flees within six months. It's almost impossible to find a worker who's been at the factory for more than a year or two. As usual, the codes of conduct for Microsoft have zero impact. Multinationals might modify the order and require a different model tech with little or no notification, pushing the subcontractor to make fast adjustments in their production setup. Everything must be completed in a short amount of time, causing people to work hard and fast, as well as put in enormous amounts of overtime, in order to maintain their employment. Forced labor may have been used to make your beloved Xbox, keyboards, and mice. Poor working conditions are not only the consequence of having a particularly tough factory owner, quite apart from the company's colorful slogans. The multinational corporations, not the subcontractors, ultimately determine the rate of production as well as the salaries of the workers indirectly. If a subcontractor wants to continue in business, he must follow the multinational's deadline and accept the price per item that Microsoft is ready to pay. When corporations put pressure on subcontractors, the subcontractors put pressure on the employees. Microsoft, like other modern corporations, prefers to portray itself as a positive force on the earth rather than a profit-making machine focused on selling its high-end tech. As a result, it works hard to improve its image through charitable donations, lofty phrases like a brand of hope and inspiration, and active attempts to guarantee that it is on the right side of the diversity problem. Quality control managers at Microsoft Factory KYE in China, who have 16 years production expertise, are paid a base wage plus additional income for each pair of shoes they complete, as well as overtime compensation. It equates to about 4,100 yuan each month, or 640 US dollars. The typical employee gets even less, but it's worth it in comparison to the $100 per month earned from wheat growing in their village. Starting at 8 a.m. and ending at 9.30 p.m., six days a week, the work schedule is highly challenging. Microsoft's stance in this controversy. Microsoft Corp said that it was investigating charges that young workers at a factory in China making its mice, cameras, and Xbox controllers suffer over long working hours and harsh treatment. Microsoft said there had been regular audits of the factories, but that a new audit would take place very soon. If we find the factory is not adhering to our standards, we will take appropriate action, Microsoft said in a statement posted online.
During the last year of the pandemic, the Nikkei Asian Review said Microsoft, along with Amazon and Google, would start manufacturing products in other Asian countries, such as Taiwan, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Thailand. But Microsoft has denied that it'll be moving production of its tech products out of China. The reporting from Nikkei Asia Review was inaccurate and does not reflect Microsoft's manufacturing plans in China in any way. Microsoft is shutting down its social network, LinkedIn, in China, saying having to comply with the Chinese state has become increasingly challenging. It comes after the career networking site faced questions for blocking the profiles of some journalists. LinkedIn will launch a jobs-only version of the site, called InJobs, later this year. But this will not include a social feed or the ability to share or post articles. LinkedIn Senior Vice President Mohawk Shroff blogged, We're facing a significantly more challenging operating environment and greater compliance requirements in China. And the firm said in a statement, While we're going to sunset the localized version of LinkedIn in China later this year, we will continue to have a strong presence in China to drive our new strategy and are excited to launch the new InJobs app later this year. As tension grows between China and Microsoft, the foremost concern is that, despite decades of effort, China has yet to build a homegrown operating system good enough to replace Microsoft Windows. Our operating system market is dominated by U.S. companies, such as Microsoft, Google, and Apple. A recent report by state-run Xinhua News Agency said, To fundamentally solve the problem of being choked in the neck, Creating a domestic operating system and supporting software and hardware ecosystem is a must. To be fair, China is not alone. Other countries, including Russia, Germany, and South Korea, have been trying to develop their own operating systems, but none of them have gotten very far yet. Washington has already targeted China's technology vulnerabilities. The U.S. Commerce Department has banned Huawei from Google Android and cut off the Chinese tech giant from foreign chip manufacturers in May 2019, after adding it to the Export Administration Regulations Entity List. Like the rest of the world, China is heavily dependent on American technology companies that design microchips and the most popular computer operating systems. According to a market report released last July by a Chinese research firm, Microsoft enjoys a dominant position in desktop and server operating systems, with nearly 90% of the market share in China. The concern from China led Microsoft to open a facility in Beijing to allow officials to review the operating system source code to ensure there are no hidden backdoors. In 2017, Microsoft announced that the company would build a Windows 10 China Government Edition for Chinese government agencies to use. That led Microsoft to partner with a Chinese state-owned company to sell a custom-tailored Windows 10 CMIT to the Chinese government. However, experts say on a practical level, Chinese engineers have never been able to fully examine the Microsoft code and guarantee security because of the product's complexity. China is investing heavily in a robot workforce. One factory has reduced employee strength from 110,000 to 50,000 thanks to the introduction of robots a government official told the South China Morning Post. Zhu Yulian, head of publicity for the Kunshan region, added, More companies are likely to follow suit. In a statement to the BBC, Foxconn Technology Group confirmed that it was automating many of the manufacturing tasks associated with our operation, but denied that it meant long-term job losses. We are applying robotics engineering and other innovative manufacturing technologies to replace repetitive tasks previously done by employees, and through training, also enable our employees to focus on higher value-added elements in the manufacturing process, such as research and development, process control, and quality control. History tells us that multinational companies will pit workers against each other in a race to the bottom as they outsource jobs and take advantage of weak labor standards in the pursuit of profit. But Microsoft has had a presence in China for more than 20 years, entering the market in 1992. Bill Gates had the foresight to establish an office in Beijing, accurately predicting the country's transition to the booming economy we see today. Let's just hope Microsoft working practices live up to the firm's lofty brand ideals and that latter-day deserving people of China can at least somewhere get a good job at this multinational brand. What do you think? Is Microsoft justified keeping suppliers pressurized in order to achieve greater production along with keeping costs competitive for the end user? Tell us your ideas in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Tech Rumor for more thought-provoking tech videos.